All right, so we're going to embed a Google map and I can also show you how to get GPS coordinates for your location for collection. So first I'm on Google Maps. So um, you can find wherever you are. I'm just gonna pick Lake Houston somewhere in Kingwood. Let's just say that I know that I drove to this street here and I got out of the car and then I picked up my sediment um, over here. So, or I got off the green belt, let's say. So what I'll do is I'll just click on that area and that gives me, first of all, some coordinates. So you can use those coordinates um, for uh, your coordinate entry. So that's GPS coordinates. To edit this, you'll just click on the pencil and then you could add those coordinates here. So clicked on it and then I can just copy it. That's control or command copy is command C, control C and then command V or control V to paste. And then what I can do here, okay, is to get here again. Uh, let me actually just paste the coordinates because then I can actually be very specific. There we go. So I want to share and then I'm going to go embed map, okay? And then I will copy this HTML and close that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste it. So this is going to be my command V because, you can ignore that, all I want is this URL. Now, sometimes in some programs you have to paste the iframe, but here the iframe just wants the URL. So I'm gonna go inside the, parent, uh, the um, uh, quotes, so I'm gonna start with the HTTPS and go till the, the quotations end, so right here, okay? And I'm gonna do control or command copy, and then I'm going to go to insert my map. So now I'm gonna go to this plus more rich, then I go to this insert iframe. I'm going to paste control V or command V my uh, URL, iframe source URL. I'm going to choose a five, let's see, thousand by 500. We'll see how that looks. And then I'll insert it. And I can, then you have your map with your location. You can go ahead and delete that um, uh, iframe code. So here's your map and you'll have a description of your location as well as the picture. To insert the picture, you can just go below this here. You can either do quick insert image or you can insert the image up here. And then you can either drop the image onto here by dragging it from your folder uh, or you can click on it and find the file and then you'd insert your image that way. If you have a movie, um, you can upload it to YouTube. If you have a Gmail account, then you have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can upload it to Vimeo for free. So there's a little more privacy in Vimeo. Um, uh, and then what you'll do is you'll share that YouTube video or Vimeo using the URL in the browser, uh, not in the browser, in the share function. So let me just quick show you. All right, let's see. I'm totally logged out. So this is giving me really weird stuff. But um, yeah, so I was signed in, it would give me reasonable things, but let's just say, my goodness. All right, let's just say I have this video here I want to upload, a fungi video. So I'm going to go to the video. I will share it down here, and I don't need to embed it this time. I can just copy the URL because of the way that the lab archives is set up. Okay. And then I'm going to insert a video. Just paste that URL there and I'm going to insert it and then it'll put my YouTube video on there. Vimeo should work basically the same way. Um, and so that's how you get your movie of the location there and then your picture above it. GPS coordinates and then I have my Google map. If you made any changes to the collection protocol or we need to make any notes here for, you know, what you uh, for later, you know, oh, I forgot this or I dropped that or there were, you know, lots of mosquitoes everywhere, whatever, so that you can get um, more information about that.